shell-shocked and relieved to be far from the blast. Brussels International Airport is now a crime scene. Two explosions tore through the departures hall of Zaventem Airport just after 8 o'clock on Tuesday morning. Belgian police have confirmed several deaths as well as numerous injuries. Witnesses said shots were fired and shouting in Arabic was heard before the blasts. Authorities have confirmed it was a suicide attack. The building was heavily damaged with ceiling tiles and glass shattering with the explosions. Did you see or hear the explosion? No, but I walked through a mess, a load of stuff, uh, glass splitters, smoke, water dripping from the ceiling. We had to walk through puddles and we were evacuated. I was just waiting for my suitcase and then somebody said over the loudspeakers, this is an evacuation. We just were took outside, we were taken outside of the place. Some passengers were led onto the tarmac for fear that other bombs remained inside the terminal. The airport, as well as rail links from Brussels city centre, have been shut down. The metro has also been closed. Located on the outskirts of the Belgian capital, Zaventem Airport is one of Europe's most important business and travel hubs. The city is the de facto capital of the European Union. Not long after the airport attacks, another bomb went off in the city's metro. Multiple and nearly simultaneous attacks that are a signature of the Islamic State group. The attacks come just days after Belgian police seized Saleh Abdeslam, one of the masterminds of the Paris attacks, in a hideout in Brussels. Investigators have uncovered that the Paris attacks were largely planned from Belgium and that terrorist cells have gone unnoticed there for years. Following the blast, national security was raised to a level four, the highest level in Belgium. Employees at European institutions have been instructed to stay at home as well as Brussels residents.